What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Robs and today we're going to be going over another Canny Valley to Endurance AFK build. Today we're going to be talking about Tunnel Amplifier. So if you look over here to the east, this D Amplifier, this is going to be Tunnel Amplifier. We're going to be talking about the north side of that today. Um, and this is one of the, the tunnels that has a weird cross bond and gets annihilated by hotspots. So you have to have a, a couple particular builds. Uh, for this and it has a couple of rare spots and stuff too. So it's kind of annoying honestly, but we're gonna we're gonna show you guys a build for it All right So first things first uh, where exactly are the husks spawning and uh, What are we gonna do about it? So if you guys haven't seen uh, My sinkhole east build I highly recommend you guys go watch that because I'm not gonna rebuild the spawn trap for you guys on camera today um just because it's so complex and I really just don't feel like it. So go watch Sinkhole East if you guys need help with the spawn trap. But basically there's going to be a spawn right here. All across this little ridge. There's going to be a spawn up here on this. There's going to be a spawn all the way down here in the river. All the way across here up until this point. And I think it can break this wall launcher wall as well. But this is uh, exactly all the spawns around here. Okay. So, if you guys notice, from our Sinkhole East build, we have all of this already built out right here, right? So clearly, we're not letting them go down this river pathway. We're letting them go down the left tunnel side. Um, so the left tunnel side is gonna be our pathway. We're gonna bring them up here. We're gonna go boom, boom. We're gonna have two floors, a floor. I think we skip this uh, floor, and we skip this floor as well, and then we place floor, floor here. And that's gonna be our pathway. So it's going to look like this, where we have these two tiles blank because mist pods spawn here. And uh, if a mist pod spawns here, uh, now this blocks their path, this floor path. Um, and we're going to have issues with that because of uh, husks won't want to go this way anymore. And they'll go through the right side because this isn't a viable pathway and they have to break through layering. So uh, we have floors like this, placed specifically like this. All right. So um, that's going to be our pathway. Now let's start building out the tunnel. So I'm, I don't even know why I'm upgrading these right now, if I'm being real. Okay, so first things first. We're going to come up to the front of this tunnel. We're going to build wall, 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 wall. Then we're going to surround these in walls, okay? And then we're going to put ceiling tiles on each of these. All right, so that should be simple enough. We're going to place a wall right here. And we can't place any tiles on these three tiles because I don't know why Epic's weird like that. So we're going to then take out our trusty all durability two times reload speed sound walls that we have. And we're going to place it on this wall, this particular wall, and this particular wall. We're then going to place a blue wooden floor spike on this uh, first floor. A tar pit here, all durability tar, tar pit. Those are all you should be using outside maybe in specific circumstances where I use a tar pit with heels builds attached. But you should be using an all durability tar pit, all durability tar pit. Above on this one, we're going to have a reload speed um, ceiling gas trap. These are just going to have damage, crit, damage, crit rating, reload speed. You should, you could have effect duration on the last one. I just have heels builds attached because they're my all purpose ones. But I'd put effect duration or durability on the last perk. There. And then on this second one, we're going to have uh, another one of the reload speed ones. And then on this uh, third one, we're going to have a damaging ceiling electric field. So we're going to have an element energy, crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, and durability. Okay. So on this first wall, we're going to have all durability, two times reload speed wall launcher. This is just for a little bit of recycling to push them back. We're also going to have the same exact uh, wall launcher on this wall. We're going to keep going further into the tunnel. There's going to uh, still be another sound wall right here on the left side. You could probably get away with not having this sound wall here, if I'm being honest. Um, but I'm going to have it here. So all durability, two times reload speed sound wall. And then we're going to have a broadside on the other wall. Okay, so that's the beginning of our tunnel. We're going to keep going forward. We're going to attach a wall here. We're going to put a low wall here. So low wall here. A low wall here. I want to say this is going to be a low wall. We're going to make this a uh, edited window wall. We're going to put a low wall here. Low wall here. Low wall, low wall. Okay. Which even this can be like a windowed wall or something like that. 
All right, we're then going to take our um, low wall and edit it into a regular wall. And we're going to place a wall here, a wall here, a wall here, and a wall here. And we're just going to put ceilings over all of this. All right, we're going to place a wall behind this low wall, and we're going to place a wall behind this windowed wall. And these are just going to add a little bit of like wall dart damage from behind there. So now let's trap it out real quick. So above, this is going to be a ceiling electric field, one of the damaging ones. And same with this one. <laughs> We're then going to have a double reload speed, or a double crit rating, double crit damage wall dynamo. I have heals builds attached on these. You guys can add durability in that last perk slot. But these I just use for like um, assassin husks and stuff like that. But you can add durability on the last spot. It doesn't need to be supercharged. This is just the one trap I picked to supercharge. So we're going to place uh, that on both sides. We might actually, instead of uh, placing a wall dynamo here, because that can get kind of risky with phasing husks, we're going to place a double crit rating, double crit damage wall dart. All right, we're then going to place our um, double crit rating, double crit damage wall dynamo on each of these low walls. Boom. And we're going to place it on this little windowed wall as well. And we can place it on this window wall. All right. We're then going to place two uh, tar pits on these two floors right here. And then we're going to take out our double crit rating, double crit damage wall darts. And we're going to place them on these back walls. So, uh, oh, there we go. On these two walls. Wow, I'm struggling. There we go, on this wall. We're going to have a wall placed um, two tiles behind this, right? Uh, and this is going to be attached to our block off for tunnel east, or uh, to our tunnel for tunnel east. Um, mainly because a mist pod spawns back here. Um, and I have no, like, floors or anything back here. Uh, a mist pod can spawn like right here and ruin your day and get stuck in block off. So we have all this open right here, a free pathway for them to walk. So I have a wall dart there. All right. So we have all of that. Now we can add ceiling zappers. These are going to be double crit rating, double crit damage if I can find them. So double crit rating, double crit damage ceiling zappers. And they're going to be on... All the tiles that they can actually walk on and then there's going to be a ceiling electric field here uh in this little tile space and that should be our trapping for the tunnel right there that's our main pathway and there is like a rare spawn that can happen on the hill and we'll go over top of that uh in a second and go over it but next we're going to go over the block off so that's not supposed to be there just yet so first things first um let's go over the block off for this tunnel because it can get kind of um what's the word for it uh, hard to do. So there's mist pods that spawn like right here, or not mist pods, um, hot spots that can spawn right here, uh, in these three tile spaces, and they can spawn in this uh, tile space right here. So all your builds that are going to be happening right there, like right here, all those get wiped out if you uh, decide to build there. So we have to uh, avoid those. So first things first, we already have this built from Sinkhole East, right? Um, so we're going to add floors behind this we're going to edit those facing the north we're going to add a cone facing the northeast cone facing the northeast and we're going to surround those in walls all right behind these walls we're then going to place uh edited floor pieces with the two tiles on the south taken out these aren't going to get destroyed by the hot spot and they're going to add a little bit tiny bit of uh layering and that's going to be perfect for us all right so anything down here gets destroyed, right? So we're going to have to come up to the top of this ramp, and we're going to place a floor, cone, floor, cone. And that's all the block off we're going to be able to place on that ramp. And we can place walls behind it. In this little 2 by one area right here, we can't place anything, so we're going to skip that tile, and we're going to surround that in walls. Okay? We're then going to place a cone right here, facing the northwest, and surround it in walls. We're going to place a cone facing the northwest, a cone facing the northwest, and then we're going to surround those in walls. All right, and that's our block off on our left side. It's really not too bad, a block off. Um, right here, we don't want to place this particular cone piece because for our amp build, we're going to, um, like, we don't want to edit a cone like this and face it towards it because this connects to the amplifier and we want to have our specific amp build, like, for dancing mini bosses and that's exactly what we're going to do next so what we're going to do is we're going to have a mini boss dancer here uh for our amplifier build and the way we're going to get that to work is we're going to have a cone on this far east side we're going to edit that towards the east we're going to have a wall here 
we're gonna have a wall uh, here, here, and here. And we're gonna surround this little empty tile space and walls. And that should be the uh, the amp design. I might need to check up on my screenshots. Oh, I think we have a wall here as well. One little wall to add on this is we have this wall right here. I just didn't place it, but this wall is necessary to make them dance. What's gonna happen with the mini bosses if they even make it through the tunnel is they're just gonna like walk right here and dance. I might need to check up on my screenshots for that, but uh, this build comes from Nathan in my Discord. Uh, this is what he's been testing out for mini boss dancing. It's been working really well. Uh, so shout out to him. But that's gonna be the, the amp build that we do. Um, all right, so now that we have our block off done on this left side, uh, flingers are going to be weird with this amplifier. They're not going to like be too big of an issue, but we I'm going to do something really specific um, to counter miss, miss pods and uh, flingers. So flingers are the only thing that will ever come over here, right? And we have enough layering here, but the problem is we have this tunnel open. You might be asking, like, why don't you just block off this tunnel? Um, well, mist pods will spawn and they'll uh, on wave 29 and they'll want to track towards you in your AFK spot, right? So sometimes the mist pods uh, mini bosses will spawn down here. They'll drop down here and they'll have nowhere to go if you block this off. So they'll just start beating on block off. So this is going to be a mini boss path that we have over here. We're going to allow them to walk all the way over here through here, all the way up here. But um, we're going to block off this particular pathway right here. We're just going to put floor cone and a wall here uh, so that flingers won't see that as a viable path. We're going to put a wall right here so that they have to walk one extra tile this way. And then we're going to go up over here by sinkhole. And at the top of this little ramp, we're going to put a floor and a cone. Simple enough. So that should uh, allow like there to be layering so flingers won't have a viable pathway. And uh, many bosses will come all the way through here, walk all the way around. They'll come right here, and they'll just chill here. Because uh, we're up at our AFK spot, and they have no viable option to get up there. Okay, so that's going to be our little river block off area. The next thing we're going to do is, if a mist pod spawns back here, how are they going to uh, get back to under us, right? Because our entire goal with uh, Wave 29 and this specific amp is we have to get those mini bosses... Uh, in a way towards like us, um, in a way from our amplifier and away from our block off because they can be pretty destructive. So the next thing we have is we're gonna edit a, a stair piece. So we're gonna place it right here and we're gonna edit a stair piece like this um, in this little L shape. We're then gonna have a little half stair piece like this. We're gonna edit a floor um, to a quarter floor. We're gonna edit a floor to a half floor. We're gonna edit a, a staircase into a little half staircase. We're going to do kind of the same exact thing, right? Boom and boom. All right, so we just have this little staircase right here. What this is going to allow us to do, right, is if a mini boss spawns, like, say, in this particular spawn over here, they're going to walk all the way around here, right? They're going to want to get up to us on that mat grinder. They're going to walk right here all the way up this staircase, and they'll have, like, a block-off free area to get to us. Then we're just going to place an additive floor here, too, to finish it off. So this is uh, solely for the purpose of Miss Pod mini bosses, uh, because they are assassin husks versus like wanting to break our amplifier and stuff like that. All right. So um, that should be our little like mini boss pathway. Let's go over the rare spawn real quick uh, up here, because this is going to cause a lot of trouble for people, and uh, we want to mitigate that. All right. So there is a spawn right here for uh, husks. Um, for Tunnel East. It's a really shitty spawn because there's no block off up here and uh, we kind of have to account for it. So the thing I did um, is realistically we're just going to place a floor here, floor here. We're going to surround those in walls except for on this side. Okay. We're going to put a windowed wall right here. We're going to make this a windowed wall. We're going to place a floor or a wall, a wall. Oh my gosh, I ended up down here feels bad we're gonna place a floor we're gonna place floor 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 and then we're just gonna place a wall here right so then we're gonna have a little bit of like uh edited uh wall pieces in here we're gonna have these edited low walls like this just to ensure the husks walk our pathway like this all right so what this is gonna do is we're gonna have all durability ceiling electric fields up top here uh, 
these are going to do most of our damaging. We're going to have wall darts, um, reload speed wall darts in the back over here, behind this wall. So we're just going to edit this real quick. We're going to have a reload speed wall dart here and a reload speed wall dart here. We're then going to re-edit this into a window. This wall, wall in particular is going to have a double reload speed sound wall. We're going to have two tar pits, all durability tar pits. We're going to have a wall dynamo with double crit rating, double crit damage. On each and every single one of these walls. And then we're going to have ceiling zappers. Uh, these are going to be double crit rating, double crit damage ceiling zappers. And that should cover your rare spawn, right? Um, not much actually spawns up here, but we have to take care of it if it does. And as well as uh, they have the potential to drop off from right here onto our block off. Um, so if a flinger actually drops down here, that could be a huge issue. So we have to add a little bit of like a lava shield here, right? So we're going to come to this little archway that we have for single east, and we're going to place a wall here. We're going to place a wall, two walls right here. We're going to take these walls all the way up until they're connected to our uh, wall dart up there. Okay. Then we're going to have a reload speed um, wall dart on this particular wall right here. What that's going to allow us to do is if anything does drop right here, they're going to walk over here and go through the tunnel, but we're going to hit them with this wall dart anyway. Okay. So that should be our rare spawn. So we'll have uh, all of our spawns getting hit by the spawn trap from uh, earlier from our sinkhole east video. We'll have them come through our tunnel to the left. They'll come up, they'll come through, they'll get hit by gas traps, some uh, sound walls to get propane off the propane husks. And we'll have them come through this tunnel. This should be the, um, the amplifier build. I'm going to go recheck screenshots after this uh, recording this. If it's different, it'll be like right now. But I thank you guys so, so much for watching these videos, and I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys do like this video, leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. And consider commenting down below um, what amplifier I should do next. I mean, we're pretty much almost finished with candy. I just have Tunnel East, which uh, I've changed up a little bit. Um, we'll give you guys like a quick preview, like if you guys want to stop and pause and uh, build it. You can't place uh, things in this particular tunnel anymore on these walls and ceilings pieces. So um, I had to change that up a little bit. But this is the tunnel east, the new one. So I don't know how y'all, uh, if y'all want to just like peek at this real quick. Uh, for you guys that actually like want to pause, I'll come out with a step-by-step -step build later on. But that's uh, the tunnel east build right there. But I guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys uh, want to check me out live streaming, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mitch underscore Robs. Uh, come check me out. And as well as we have a Discord channel, um, we're like, we just have a good community, honestly. Uh, really positive community and people that want to help each other out with this game. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Peace.